In this video, we'll demonstrate how Okta's new Identity Governance Request Module works. I'll show the experience using both the request application as well as the integration with Slack. Here, we have two different users. On the left hand, we have the requester, and on the right hand side, we have the approver. The requester is currently in the Okta user interface, and the improver has Slack open. As you can see, the requester has access to the new Okta Access Request module. When clicking on this, they are taken to the request catalog. From here, they can see all the different request types that they can make. This requester needs access to Salesforce. Clicking on the Salesforce request, they are presented with a dialog collecting all of the data needed to submit the request. These questions are configurable using the Request Workflow Builder. But rather than submitting the request through the web UI, the requester is going to use the Okta application embedded directly into Slack. A similar integration is also available for Microsoft Teams. Here, clicking on the dropdown, the requester can see the same set of requests that were available in the web UI. In addition, the integration provides a machine learning based chatbot that can issue requests using natural language. The requester will now ask for Salesforce access. First, the chatbot confirms that they want to submit the request. Once the requester confirms, they are prompted to fill out the same fields that we saw in the web UI, but this time directly in Slack. The requester needs access to Salesforce in order to look up some sales figures. Once the request is submitted, it's routed to the next step in the workflow. In this case, manager approval. On the right hand side, we see that the manager has a new notification from the Okta application. Clicking on messages shows a new request from Joe Requester. From here, the manager can click on the link provided to jump directly to the request in the Okta Access Request module, or they can view the details directly in the Slack application. If the approver requires additional information, they can reply to this thread and it will automatically update the request as well as send a Slack notification back to the requester. The manager needs to know which account Joe needs to look up the figures for. Immediately, Joe sees a response from his manager and is able to provide the additional information. Joe is also able to continue this flow by jumping to the Okta Access Request module if he prefers. Clicking on the link in the thread takes Joe to the request with all of the same conversation details that we saw in the Slack interface. Here, Joe provides the requested information. Again, the manager is immediately notified of this update. With the additional information, the manager is now ready to approve or deny this request. Clicking on the task button provides the manager with a list of tasks that he needs to perform, and he is now ready to approve the request. Upon approval, the request is updated, and since no other tasks are required, Okta is able to fulfill the request by temporarily adding the user to the sales group. As these changes happen, the request is updated in real time. Joe is now able to go back to his Okta dashboard. Refreshing the dashboard, we can see that he now has access to Salesforce. Adding him to the sales group triggered Okta to provision him a Salesforce account and grant the required access. Now Joe is able to look up the needed sales figures.